Welcome back to the Cordless Vacuum Guide and in this video, we'll look at a brand new product from Narwhal, the free robot vacuum and mop with a self-washing base station. It's been almost two years since Narwhal launched their first product, the T10, which excel at mopping floors but lacked in other aspects, most notably its subpar vacuuming performance. And the free addresses these issues with a ground-up redesign and better app features to enhance its overall performance and user experience. I'll go through these features and the various experiments I did to reveal the good and bad of this product. There's a lot to unpack, so let's get into it. The Narwhal Frio isn't just an upgrade over the T10, but a complete ground-up redesign. Unlike the T10, which uses a squarish frame, the Frio has a round frame utilized by most brands since it's better at navigating tight quarters, thus improving efficiency. This new model also has a combo brush providing an agitating element missing with the T10, since it relies only on suction for picking up debris. Adding a brush roll improves its performance on hard floors and makes it usable on carpets, something impossible with the T10. Narwhal relocated the pads from the front to the back of the robot, enabling it to use both features simultaneously, whereas the T10 can only function as a robot vacuum or mop, but not both. Another benefit is the convenience since consumers don't need to remove the pads and attach a separate component for the vacuuming function, which was a huge downside for the T10. It has a top-mounted dustbin with a trapdoor design I like since it's narrow enough to fit in a small trash bin. Plus, the edges stick out so it's easy to tap it on the lip and dislodge debris. Underneath, you'll see a stark difference between the T10 and Frio. The Narwhal Frio has a combo brush flanked by two side brushes and two discs behind the brush roll. This layout enables it to be more adaptable with the areas it can clean. One difference with the Narwhal from other brands is that the pads must always be attached, or it won't run. The default pad position is raised and only lowers during the mopping cycle. Also, the Frio enables consumers to select between a vacuum-only and mopping-only cycle, aside from the hybrid functionality where both features are enabled. Another is the Frio mode, where the robot vacuums and mops simultaneously but with a twist, literally. Narwhal calls it Smart Swing, where the robot twists or swings during the edge cleaning cycle. The idea is this motion helps dislodge dirt or stains along the edges. Obviously, the added movement adds to the time it takes to complete the run, so consumers can activate it weekly, daily, or disable it. The Frio mode doesn't have a fixed number of passes. If the dirt sense sensor determines that the water from the pad washing cycle is clean enough, the robot will not resume the mopping cycle. The Frio base station may look similar to the T10, but Narwhal added several upgrades to enhance its pad washing efficiency, mopping performance, and convenience. Narwhal says the Frio is the world's first robot mop with dirt sense. So basically, a sensor inside the base station checks the cleanliness of the water from the pad washing cycle to determine if the robot needs to mop the area again. This feature is available through the Frio mode, accessible through this LCD screen or app. Like the T10, the Frio base station has this ribbed component where the pads spin during the washing cycle. Putting it side by side, the Frio version has more surface area, enabling it to clean the pads better. Another upgrade is a detachable tray assembly, giving consumers better access to clean. It retains the twin water tank design where the clean and dirty water tanks are separate. But the Frio has a slot for the cleaning solution over here. Unlike the T10 where consumers will need to add detergent sheets, Cleaning solution disbursement is done automatically, so it's a hands-free system. Narwhal also sells the auto water exchange module for consumers who want more automation. This system consists of a water exchange container, connectors, and hoses connecting to a water source and drain, automatically refilling the clean tank and dumping dirty water into the drainage. One of the biggest improvements of the Narwhal Frio is its cleaning performance, thanks to the combo brush and ample airflow. I tested it with an anemometer and it got over 12 CFM in the highest setting. Unfortunately, the airflow in the lower settings is below average, but service debris pickup is still decent with the normal setting. Again, having a combo brush helps the Frio in this aspect. These figures represent a massive improvement over the T10, especially on carpets, where it got an average above 95%. Having a three-pass run and tight turning radius helps it pick up debris on both surfaces immensely. Unfortunately, the Frio doesn't have a floating brush roll system, so it cannot adapt to the different contours of carpets. 
but the results are still above average on this surface. It was excellent in a sand on hard floor test, picking up an average of 99.5%, which is above average for a robot vacuum. However, it was below average in the deep cleaning experiment, only picking up an average of 63.75%, but considering the T10 was adducible on this surface, this score is a significant upgrade. Edge cleaning is also excellent, leaving only a little at the edges. The twin brush roll system was a big factor in why it did well cleaning this area. Another thing I like is its hair pickup, at least for shorter 5-inch strands, where it got a 100% score. It wasn't as good with longer 7-inch hair, only getting a 43% score. One downside to the combo brush is hair tangling on the bristles. You'll need to use scissors to remove any hair wrapping on it. The next thing I like is the mopping efficiency of the two spinning discs. Narwhal was one of the first with this feature, and it's proven effective at removing stains. The Freeo app provides consumers more control in setting the floor type between hardwood, tiles, and cobblestone. Each surface has a specific vacuuming mode and mop pressure to maximize efficiency. I did my usual tests, specifically on red wine and juice stains, and this robot was excellent, getting nearly everything out after the first pass and everything by the second pass without stalling. And this is something that most robot vacuum slash mop hybrids struggle with. Another mode I tried is the Frio, using grape juice and coffee grounds scattered. One difference with the Frio mode is the edge cleaning movement, where the robot twists or swings, hence the term edge swing. During the test, the robot did a one-pass run, then returned to the base station for a pad cleaning cycle. It came back out for a second run, but this time, it didn't make a twisting motion around the edges. I also noticed it made a crisscross pattern during the second pass, where it moved perpendicularly. After the second pass, it stopped and didn't come out for a third pass. While the robot could pick up the liquid and coffee grounds, I wouldn't recommend using it for such because of the residue buildup. After the mopping only experiment, this is how the robot looks. The brush roll guard has no residue sticking on it, but here's how it looks after the Frio run. You could see residue buildup on the brush guard, vacuum inlet, and the robot underbelly. But it's not just a Frio issue. Other brands have this issue since these robots cannot pick up liquid. I'd only recommend using either the vacuum or mopping only tasks and the Frio mode for relatively clean surfaces, but not on wet messes. One reason I recommend using the vacuuming and the mopping only cycle is the lip feature for the brush roll assembly and pad. During the mopping only run, the brush roll assembly lifts and doesn't scrape the gunk of the surface. The same thing happens with the pad during the vacuum only cycle, where the pad is raised. Another difference between the Narwhal Frio and other brands is it does a pad washing cycle in between mopping runs, which helps keep the pads cleaner. And looking at the pads after several mopping cycles, it look wider than the T10. Another plus point for the Frio. Navigation is another strong point. Since it uses LiDAR, it's efficient in traversing different areas, even in tight quarters. Like most laser-equipped robots, it starts the run cleaning the edges before moving towards the middle portions in a back-and-forth pattern. It completed a two-pass run in around 19 minutes, an excellent time regardless of brand, and it got most of the debris out after the first pass. Again, it's proof of the Narwhal Frio's better cleaning dynamics with the added brush roll. The detachable tray provides better access for cleaning, and you'll eventually need to clean this component. Another pro is the low noise levels not even breaching the 60 decibel level in the three lower settings, except for the highest, only maxing at 66 decibels. <laughs> Lastly is the app enhancements. Narwhal released a new Frio app with better user experience and usability, and I'll enumerate the most helpful features. First is the live map, which shows the robot's location in real time. An added wrinkle is the 3D map, showing the map in a three-dimensional perspective from different angles. One difference of the Narwhal app from other laser-equipped robots is that it doesn't show grid lines but shades areas it has vacuumed or mopped. So when it does a multi-pass run, the shaded areas get darker, and consumers can view the real-time status of the robot in the 3D map. Another helpful feature is the mapping run, which is turned on by default. So every time you create a new map, it automatically does a mapping run. One huge benefit is it cuts map creation time to a fraction compared to a full run. The app is also pretty accurate at setting partitions, but consumers can add these manually if needed. Map saving is also available, and the Frio app can save up to four map levels, three more than the old Narwhal app. 
containment is available through the no-go zones feature. And there are three options. Blocking the robot from vacuuming and mopping, vacuuming only, or mopping only. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the invisible wall feature, so it cannot block diagonal areas. It has an ultrasonic sensor, enabling it to detect carpets and mark these areas accordingly on the map. The app provides an option to set no-go zones to save you time from doing it manually. Other options include boosting power when it goes over carpet, avoiding it, crossing, or ignoring it. Even if you don't select any of these, the robot will automatically avoid carpet during the mopping-only cycle. And clean hard floors first before going over carpets during the last pass with a power boost on. Select where room cleaning and zone cleaning are available, providing more control to consumers in deploying the robot. The most obvious for me is the lack of a self-emptying feature. Yes, the pad washing element is great, but emptying the dustbin has to be done manually, and that involves pulling out the robot. Next is the accumulated mess underneath the robot when cleaning wet spills and dry debris. Again, it's not an issue for the Narwhal Frio, but also a problem for other brands that cannot pick up liquid. Despite these cons, the Narwhal Frio is a huge upgrade over the T10 and much better across the board. Adding a brush roll significantly improves vacuuming performance, making it above average on carpets. The twin disc system maintains the same efficiency at mopping stains, and the tweaks in its algorithm and the agitating element inside the base station result in better pad cleaning performance. But since this robot cannot pick up liquid, I don't recommend using it on wet spills because of the potential residue buildup underneath that you'll need to clean, which defeats the purpose of a self-washing robot. Nonetheless, for its price and performance, the Narwhal Frio is a compelling option for consumers looking for an efficient robot vacuum slash mop hybrid, but minus the self-emptying feature. If you've made it this far, I'd like to say thank you and consider giving this video a thumbs up if it's been helpful to you. It goes a long way in growing this channel and reaching more consumers. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I publish new reviews like this. Links are in the description below for more information about the Narwhal Frio, including a detailed review on my blog. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.